Two suspects who ran from this SUV after it crashed into a building are now in jail. Police say they've been looking for the pair for days. In the past two hours, we found out one of the men was involved in this wild police chase nearly a year ago. It's our top local story in Eyewitness News at 5. A woman called police this morning when she said two men cut the power to her home. It wasn't long before police say the suspects were trying to break into a second home. Police say the suspects took off and crashed an SUV into the side of a building here on Beatty's Ford Road, right across from the Northwest School of the Arts. Now, late today, we found out that these are the two young men that police arrested, Jasper Tony and Marquise Gaines. Last year, police arrested Gaines after this police chase that ended when this truck fishtailed on a bridge in North Charlotte. Eyewitness News reporter Amory O'Keefe is live at the Mecklenburg County Jail tonight. And Amory, you found out that Marquise Gaines had on an electronic monitor when the officers arrested him. And that's right, Erica. I called police to find out the names of the suspects. When I heard the name Marquise Gaines, recognized it from a story that I had covered just last year. Tonight, though, Gaines and another man will be back here in the Mecklenburg County Jail. For three days, police in North Charlotte were searching for the stolen SUV. You can see where it ended up, lodged into this business on Beatty's Ford Road. We talked with eyewitnesses. The truck, they hit the house and jumped out the truck, and the police were right after them. Police caught these two men, Marquise Gaines and Jasper Tony Jr. Last April, Gaines was arrested after a high-speed chase from Cornelius to North Charlotte after a landscaper was carjacked. Police say Gaines and Tony Jr. are wanted for a similar case that happened on Sunday. Officers say the two carjacked a man at this Walmart on Highway 16. Then they used a gun to steal the man's SUV. Then this morning, police think the same suspects were trying to break into homes near Reams Road. And Kelly Gallows was one of them. Now, but they cut the other thing and they ripped it all off. Gallo says the men cut the power to her house after knocking on her door over and over. I didn't know what was going on. When the power went out, I knew finally it was serious. I wasn't going to open the door for him. Kelly doesn't know why, but the men suddenly took off. Next stop, a few miles away on Londonshire Drive. Police say the men knocked on a different door, but this time the homeowner told them to get lost. Captain Greg Collins said she did the right thing by letting them know she was home. Telling them I'm calling the police, or I'm calling my husband, or I'm going to put my Doberman pitcher out here in the living room. Police flooded the North Charlotte area and spotted the SUV on Beatty's Ford Road. After a short chase, the vehicle slammed into this business and the men were arrested. That's a relief to those victims targeted today. Good, and I hope nobody tries again, but uh, we'll be prepared. And both men are now char charged with robbery with a dangerous weapon and conspiracy robbery with a dangerous weapon. Also want to tell you that that, an that accident today happened right across the street from Northwest School of the Arts. That school was closed down for a short time today on lockdown just as a precaution. Nobody was hurt at all today. We're live now in Uptown. Anne Marie O'Keefe, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Anne Marie. Both Jasper Tony and Marquise Gaines have been arrested before on armed robbery charges. Gaines has also faced charges for possession of stolen goods, resisting police, and possession of stolen firearms.